Hello, this is Melissa with the Stampy Ninja. Thank you for joining me. Today we're gonna to be making this beautiful birthday card right here. It is made with the Translucent Florals stamp bundle that's in the uh, September through December 2023 mini catalog. Um, it's got lots of texture here and on the inside, a little happy birthday. So the supplies that you need are listed down below but you can also find them on my website, thestampyninja.com. Um, and if you are ready, let's get started. So what you're first gonna need is a five and a half by 11 inch piece of Coastal Cabana cardstock. You're also gonna need a scrap sheet of paper for this, a four by five and a quarter inch piece of basic white cardstock that's for the inside of your card, and you're gonna need scrap for your stamping a piece of the vellum basic specialty paper, measuring four inches by three and seven eighths, a tiny little piece of pebbled path cardstock, and it measures five eighths inch by three and a half. And then you're also going to need a piece of this delightful floral DSP, uh, this particular print, we're wanting the green on the back side, and you only need a tiny piece. So, the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to actually stamp first. And the reason I say that is we are going to be using this white craft ink and it takes a little bit of time to dry. So, um, we're going to do that first. But actually, I take that back. We're going to cut the end here of your little piece for your sentiment. And for that, I'm using the Banners Pick a Punch. And again, this is 5 eighths by three and a half. So I'm using actually the arrow side for this one. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in there and punch our end. So it should look like that. And then we're gonna stamp our sentiment, you are the best on there. And um, before you stamp, make sure that you look at your stamp. Cause even though the sticker on the side says that the sentiment is right in the middle. If you actually look at my stamp, put a close up there, you can see all this space right here at the top because it's not lined in the center. So I know that I'm gonna to have to move mine up when I stamp it. So be sure to look at yours. Make sure you know where the placement is. Otherwise, you'll have to re-stamp it again, which is okay. But So when we're stamping on here, you also want to put your sentiment over to the left, not in the middle, but over to the left because this side's going to go behind the flower. So, do I remember where I put it? Oh, a little work there. Got a little bit of ink on mine, but it'll probably be covered up. If not, I don't know if you have one of these. This is a, an eraser that actually has a little bit of sand in it. And it saves me a lot of times when I accidentally get ink on my cardstock. Just give it a little rub and then it disappears. So we're gonna set that off to the side to dry. So we'll set it over there. And now we're going to work on our card. So go ahead and score and fold your card base at four and a quarter there and then burnish it with your bone folder and then once that's done you're going to put your card into this basics 3d embossing folder and you're only going to do half of it I'll do it the other way since I'm right-handed you're only going to put half of it in there and for mine I like to make sure that it's just a little bit, that line is just a little bit in there because the pattern never really goes true to the edge. So I don't want to leave that space up at the top. So you're gonna put it in just like that and you're gonna run it through your machine. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Okay, I ran it through my machine. And so that's where my fold line is. So just half of my cardstock is embossed. Yours is probably going to stick up like this, like mine, so you can just go ahead and burnish it again. But I would do it from the back side because 
Embossing the front of it makes it a little bit more fragile. You don't want to tear it or squash it. So there's that part. Next, we are going to do the inside, because if I don't do that first, I am likely to forget about it. Um, the inside, I just went ahead and stamped happy birthday. You can see it right here, happy birthday. And that is done in Coastal Cabana. So go ahead and stamp. And again, this one's off for me. I have to remember if I want it centered, I have to move mine to the left and up. There we go. To get it in the center. So then we're going to adhere this on the inside of your card. And I'm using, <clears throat> excuse me, multi-purpose liquid glue. Because it gives me a little bit of leeway. When I put something down like this inside, I can set it down crooked and then I can move it around into the right spot before it sets in place. So there's our inside. Okay, now we're going to cut out these shapes right here. So for the DSP rectangle, going to be using the deckled rectangles dies and I've lost my specific die. Sorry about that. But I had everything right here in front of me. Oh, there it is. It disappeared. So we're going to be using the one, two, three, the fourth smallest rectangle. So go ahead and cut out one of those. And then for our circle right here, we're using the deckled circles, and it's the one, two, three, four, five, six smallest circle. So go ahead and cut that out as well. So you're gonna cut out a piece of the Coastal Cabana. I already have mine cut out, and so yours should look like this. So we're going to take our piece of vellum and like I said it measures four by three and seven eighths so you want to make sure that your four is your horizontal piece um, is that right no sorry so you want to make sure that your four is your vertical piece so it should be four inches going up and down and then three and seven eighths across horizontally so first thing we're going to do is we're going to adhere this rectangle piece right here to the right and we're going to leave about what is that a quarter of an inch maybe yeah out of a quarter inch probably hard to see up against that paper quarter of an inch overhang and then you'll probably have about a quarter inch on each side the top and the bottom Go ahead and adhere that in place. When you're putting glue on the back of your rectangle, make sure you don't put it on that right side um, that's hanging over. Because then it'll just stick to your surface. And that will not be good. There. So if you see mine, just a little tiny corner hanging over there. That should go like that. And then we're going to attach our sentiment. The sentiment should be dry now. It's going to go right here. It's just a guesstimate. Right here like that. <clears throat> and when I'm gluing mine, I'm only gluing it on this side, not on the vellum. Because otherwise you take the risk of it oozing out and smearing and it just doesn't look good. So I found it's best not to adhere to the vellum if you don't have to. Okay, so there's that piece. And the reason that we did that first is because the vellum is see-through. So if you adhere and put glue on the back of this vellum or glue dots or dimensionals or anything else, you're going to see it from the front. So. 
we're going to flip this over and we are going to attach some dimensionals on the back. And when we do that, we're going to put it only on the areas where you can see this DSP and this gray piece. So that way you won't see them from the front. So I'm just going to put a whole bunch on there. enough to hold it in place and not have any saggy spots. So there, that's how I did mine. Peel off the back here. No, I don't want to come off for some reason. There we go. Peel those off. And this is going to go right over here. You're going to have a quarter inch space from the left and the top and the bottom. So it should be even spacing all around. And that's just going to go in there like that. And then you don't see any of the dimensionals through the vellum. All right, next we're going to stamp our flowers here. So you'll need some scrap uh, basic white. Which I have here and these two flowers are going to be stamped in lemon lime twist so let's stick up a little bit All right, go ahead and stamp your flowers whoops so you'll need a large one and then the smaller one those are our flowers. And then we're going to stamp these little, I don't know what you call them, these little stems um, in Pebbled Path. And you're going to need three of those. So go ahead and stamp all of these guys. Oops. I like to stamp all mine on the same paper. That way I can just run them all through the cut and drop cut and emboss machine at the same time. So, three of them right there in Pebbled Path. So go ahead and crop those out with the dies. It should be the translucent, translucent floral dies. And I have some cut out right here. So yours should look like this. And then we're going to adhere them to this circle. So I'm just using multi-purpose glue to adhere these. And I'm only using glue on just on the screen here. A little bit here on the back. I'll put that one right there. And then these two are going to go over here on this side. So one about right there. And it doesn't have to be exact placement because I think it's going to come out good no matter where you end up putting them. So I'm just kind of guessing as to where it would look good. about right there and then once those are on you're going to attach the flowers with more dimensionals so add our dimensionals to the small flower here and this one's going to go up here on the top like that. And then this bottom one. Oops. I just left off some of the space 
because this one's already on a dimensional. So if I put it right there, I don't want to put a dimensional on top of it. So I made sure there was none in that space right there. All right, peel those little guys off and that would go right there. Now all I have to do is glue it to here. And for that, I just kind of put it where I wanted to go, like so. And then I added some multi-purpose glue to the back. But see how the circle is only on half is covered. So you only wanna make sure you put glue on half of your circle. So about right there. And since it is a multi-purpose liquid glue, I'm able to slide it around to get it exactly where I want it to be. So now that's on there. All that's left are the embellishments. And for that, I am using the classic matte dots, um, the basic gray ones that are on there. I know I have some open here. There we go. So we're gonna place three of those on there. And I like to set mine in a triangle pattern. So I usually use three, but most always I use an odd number to offset it. So there's a, put a large one there. I'll put a small one up here. So that's a portion of my triangle. To complete it, I'm gonna put another one up here and I'm using a big one right up there. And that's all there is to it. Pretty easy card, very pretty. And I'm sure whoever uh, you send it to will be very appreciative and very happy. Um, if you haven't already done so, please be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can see the new cards that I make as they come out. And if you have any questions, as always, please contact me. You can reach me at thestampingninja.com or email directly at melissa at thestampingninja.com. Thank you again. Have a great day.